This is the 50 hour inspection. I just pulled the cowling off. It looks like the seal, the front seal might be leaking a little bit. There's some oil on this side of the case here and down in here. But nothing over here. This side's dry. And the PCV valve, I was going to pull it out and see if it's working. This is the breather tube and right now it's kind of Mickey Mouse. This really needs to go back to the tail and it doesn't. It just exits right down here and it's spraying the... It is letting a little bit of of uh, oil out of out of here even though uh, it doesn't let air in it it blows out but it there's still it misses out a little bit but um, all in all everything's looking really really good especially on this side this side I don't see any leaks at all um, and I just I just pulled that screen out of there and it looks good and the residual on the bottom of the um, when I wiped out the oil on the bottom of that housing, it was it's clean. There was no metal in there at all. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna test this. So I'm, I, I just want to make sure my temperature probe is really working. Um, so I'm gonna get a pan of boiling water out here and while I've got it out, and I'm gonna check that. The air cleaner. This is the air box. This is the carb heat tube here, which. Eh, you know, I mean, there's really nowhere to get heat from. I think, though, when I was looking at this, it looks to me like there's room to uh, run. If I run this exhaust down, it looks like I can go right in here and do a two into one and then come out here. I think there's room to do that right here and on the other side. So I'm going to look into doing that. Anyway, here's the air box. This is the filtered side, and what I have is a, this is a Kubota, I think it is, whatever, tractor, air filter, and I bought that at Tractor Supply, and it's a stock uh, Kubota part, I think that's how you say it, and then I built this, this housing for it, uh, you see, it's just a, this is housing here, um, the, the the filter goes down in there and seals on the bottom and then it's got a and then the that stud right there comes comes through and, and ties it in. That's how that works. And then there's a um there's a flapper valve in there. I don't know if you can see it. A little flapper valve. If I could reach the carb heat I I could show you but it's right down in there and it just there's a there's a top chamber I'll get back here. Sorry about this shaky. There's a there's a there's a plate across here that see that seals the top half of this from the bottom half. So heated air, unheated unfiltered air is down on the bottom, and filtered unheated air is on the top. And it goes. I mean, you know, you're looking at how much room I have. This is an inch and a half here. You can see my finger. It's it's not very it's not very deep from where that you know, that carburetor comes back. This this firewall is going to move way back. I, I'm probably going to move this back two inches. There's room inside uh, on the rudder pedals, so I can move that, and um, and it's not going to hurt even the long-legged guys. I mean, there's there's so much. I'm six one, and I've got so much room in here that I could move this firewall back two inches and it wouldn't affect my rudders, uh, rudder pedals at all. And that's going to give us a huge amount of room in here to, to work with because um, it's really tight right now. But anyway, there's the carb. There's a little Zenith Bendix carburetor in there. So this, this air goes, it, it comes in and down and it has to make that corner and go in to the plenum chamber which is right here. Looks like there's a little bit of oil on that leaking from somewhere. I think it's probably coming out of that pan gasket right there. Cause I don't think my oil pan is leaking. I think it's just the gasket or something. Because I've had that on and off a few times and I might have screwed it up. Cause, but really it's pretty dry. Um, this side, it looks like it looks like this mag mag gasket might be leaking a little bit. 
I've had this, this is the left mag, it was one giving me issues and in the beginning and and uh, I took it, I've had it on and off about three, three or four times now. It could be that that's just not playing well anymore. Um, I can't, but it's all pretty dry. Still looks pretty good. And, uh, you know, all the welds look good on the engine mount. I don't see anything, uh, I, don't th I don't see anything busted or anything. You know, there is there is oil on on the scat tubing here. It's coming from somewhere. I I don't know. Look at all this oil here. It could be it could be a leak in this in the tank there. I he did such a great job welding that. My welder Chad is like a wizard with that. Aluminum, man. I mean, it, look at that. Can't imagine that's leaking, but something's something's puking out. It it could be puking out of that gasket right there too. But the intake tubes look good. The thing doesn't show any sign of leaks around here at all. It's uh. It's really in good shape. The firewall, the firewall's got a little oil residual here, but it's dry the bone up here. Anyway, thought you guys would want to see this 50-hour inspection. Uh, screen spotless, and uh, all in all, I'm really happy with what I see here. Look at this color of those pipes. It's pretty nice. Yep. All right, that's it for now. I'll I'll keep you posted.